Hello everybody, my name is Tyrant Thier, and for this video, we're going to be working on broken legs. Now, this video is going to be somewhat difficult for me to make, only because I have the materials on me to craft a splint, in which I will show you here shortly. But I am going to try to repeatedly fall off of this hunting tower, hunting blind, whatever you wish to call it, until I receive a fracture, and at which point I will attempt to fix it with a splint. So hopefully this goes well and it doesn't just kill the character that I've currently had run for almost all of my DayZ videos already. Well, to get into it, let's just go ahead and worry about crafting the splint first. As you can see here, I have some sticks, short sticks I got from a bush nearby. And then we're just going to go ahead and grab some rags. Then we're going to combine, we're going to cycle through, next recipe. Next recipe, there you go. Craft a splint. It's just a couple sticks. And you got rags. You're gonna need to make sure you make this. It's not it's not a good time to have a broken leg in Daisy. A lot of uh, a lot of things can go wrong. Now let's we'll put some splint in the inventory real quick. Now we're gonna try to fall off this tower repeatedly until we receive a fracture. <laughs> Really hoping this doesn't turn around to mess me up or anything. Oh, I'm getting scared. I don't want. I don't want to die. I really don't want to die. Oh, please just break the leg. I am committed to showing you in action, otherwise I would not be trying to just throw my character off of the tower repeatedly. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't take a few more times, because uh... Oh, health's getting rather low. Well, gotta risk it for the biscuit. Oh, so close. I'm sure I could go into town and find another thing to jump off of that's that's a little bit bigger. But I really don't want to risk falling too far and just killing myself on fact I just want to make a video work. Oh, this is starting to scare me. Alright, we're just gonna slow it down real quick. This next one might be the one this next one may be the one that does it and I, re I really do not want to just kill my character jumping off this tower repeatedly. This isn't good. I'm not looking forward to spawning back on the coast. For anyone who doesn't know, I film all of my videos on Daisy official servers. Um, I'm just really prone to playing the game as intended with the survival difficulties the way they are. I might get into some videos in the future of community servers. Depends on how the mods are set up. I don't want anything too lavish or crazy. I want to stick to as much uh, survival as I can, and no PVE servers. I I rather enjoy the kill on site version of Daisy, where it just keeps everything scary, more terrified at any given time. You can just lose everything you've worked for, so it makes the game feel a little bit more uh, in depth with that. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk it one more time. Oh. If this doesn't break my leg, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, well, we are indeed limping. Limping. 
I've never received a broken leg in this game on purpose, so I'm not sure if jumping off this tower will actually do it or not, but uh, we'll see if the bone HP of the character wants to continue ticking down. So if this keeps going on a little longer, I'm not going to... Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, alright. Okay, I broke it. There we go. For you guys. For you guys. Alright. Now, I got the splint. Fix fracture. We need to fix the fracture. Otherwise, we're going to walk around. And we're going to constantly be in so much pain that our character will frequently black out. Which is not good if you're trying to get away from a horde of zombies that you might have made up set in the military. Or a bunch of other players. Yeah, as you can see, now we're walking on a fracture. But we got the splint, which means we can move. As you can see, we are not having the uh, concussive damage surrounding our screen, showing us that we are going to black out. My health is flashing. Now, one thing we can do is take a morphine auto-injector to help the process along greatly. Now, normally it takes about 30 minutes, if I remember correctly, to heal yourself from uh, fracture. But with a morphine auto injector, we should be able to reduce the time it takes to heal. Alright. Then we're just going to do a slow walk back towards the town. The other methods for crafting the splint would be a uh, bandage, but you need a full bandage and then the sticks as well. And then you'll be able to drag the bandage over the sticks and craft it. However, it'll say you need a full bandage, but it's only going to use half the bandage, and I kind of wish they would go back and fix it to where a half bandage would work and just consume the whole bandage, because there's been times where I needed to make a splint and couldn't because I didn't have a full bandage or any rags, but I had a half bandage. Rather unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's Daisy. No one said this game was supposed to be easy and survival was supposed to be easy, but uh, this is as fast as I can move. Just take note of that. I am hobbling along the best I can with this fractured leg. My health is still very, very low. So, if at any given time I run into a zombie, wolf, other player, I'm pretty much going to be one tap and dead. So, it's not very great. feel like I'm just going to leave the video here and then uh, make my way back to the town, find the rest of my supplies, and I will see you guys in the next video that I make for Daisy. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a comment down below, liking the video, and subscribe if you want to see more content from me about Daisy and other survival games here in the near future. Thank you so much, guys. It's a pleasure as always, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.